Hello everyone, Ginma the Samurai here, and welcome back to this part of Shining Force 3, Scenario 3 Blind. Alright guys, so last time we completed the first trial of the Innovator, and here we are at the second one, and... Oh man, oh man, this is cool. So, I guess what's going on with this... I'm not sure. So, supposedly... We're controlling the movement of these guys through our own movements. So, okay, it looks like there's several icons on the ground. Looks like one shows fire. So right now, nothing happened to us, and they are standing at neutral places. I'm not sure what our goal is with this. Let's ask Benetram. Assemble the four clay dolls around Gracia. To do so, observe their movement, then stand in front of them to alter their direction. Okay. So they have a, a set amount of movements, right? So, oh. Well, maybe what we want to do is we want to make it so that they don't walk into each other. Maybe. Let me see. So, uh... I feel, yeah, we want them to probably just, like, circle around the boy. So, I feel to fix this cycle... We're gonna need to move a few of these guys. So, um... I feel the first one we'll want to move is this one, so that it's going upwards. Or alternatively, either one, just so it goes into a circle. That's my guess. I'm not sure if that's the actual solution here. Um, dude, this music is super cool too. This music actually is really reminding me of Golden Sun. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... I don't know, we'll see. So, if, I hope you're right, Benetram. I really do. Okay, we'll see what happens. So we need to also move Honesty towards the other one then. I am very curious how this is going to work, but the fact that, okay, I feel, so the one thing about this is the fact that we're going to get punished if we do this wrong, I don't know if that's going to be enemies or what, probably enemies, I mean, they probably would only have us have a few people out during this one if it was going to be anything else, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that's what happens. Probably gonna get hit again. Yeah, it's gonna walk into the other one and then we're gonna get hit. Uh oh. We're level two. Oh! When they face each other, it's a heal. That's fascinating. Okay, so this is an interesting map. That much I can say for sure. Alright, so the reason I got hit last time was because they were facing very different directions. Okay, so we need to make it so that each of these guys... Again, I think we need to make them go in a circle. So... What I'm going to have to do here is do this, and then, um... <sighs> stand there. Alright, um... Let's have someone standing in front of that one, and, uh... Julian, you can stand in front of... Oh wait, no, we already have someone standing in front of that one, sorry, I didn't see you there, uh... Primula, Primrose... <laughs> 
Um, okay, so let's have you stand there, and then we can have Mr. Ninja here stand this way. Okay. And... Right. Dude, this music is so good. It actually also reminds me of a, a Dark Dawn track. Actually, the best track in Dark Dawn specifically. Um, the, the one that plays in the Eclipse Tower. It's really good. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really liking this. This is cool. Huh? What? Why are you attacking? Why are you attacking? I didn't do anything to you. Okay. I thought I was there to change your direction. I guess I wasn't facing you, but... What? So wait, so they... Are they gonna factor that in now? Okay. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this whole puzzle section. I mean, I'm glad that they're taking the time to heal all of us. I still... It looks like we're taking damage overall more than we're healing off though okay so I'm not sure in what directions they rotate is the thing I feel like uh all right so Primula you're gonna go here hold and we need to make sure you Continue rotating directions. Um, stay there, honesty. Okay, Julian, in this instance, uh, you're probably gonna want to stand there ish. Um, okay. So, let's have you stand there. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Anyways, um let's have Proton stand there and then Gracia you guys stand there. Okay. So, Jubei Harold, I'm going to figure out what to do with you. So we want to make it so that this statue, that they all start moving in a clockwise direction. Thing is, with you, he's going in the right direction, but he's in the wrong spot. At least I think. Let me, let me talk to Benetram again. Okay. If they run into anything, they will turn to the right. So wait, what exactly is our ultimate goal here, though? I feel it should be clockwise. If I keep asking Benetram, will he give us, like, different advice every time? I have no idea. Um, this is certainly a change-up, though. I appreciate the puzzle solving. You guys know anything about me, I love puzzles. Okay, so now um, I'm going to move here.
Okay, you're gonna want to move out of the way. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. I don't know what my actual goal is here. Because I feel like this is not the most conveyed thing. Let's talk to Benetram again. It says, assemble them around Gracia. Do they mean in the, the yin-yang itself? Okay. So... In that case, I suppose we probably want four people positioned at very specific spots. Okay, so... Hmm. What is this? Tornado. Okay. See, so yeah, it looks like each of these icons is a different spell, but there do exist healing ones on the ground as well, so I guess that's not too bad. Alright, so it is where they land that dictates what they do to us. Jeez. The freaking tank getting spun around, I think, is what gets me the most. It's like, whoa. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, huh. Let's all move you guys there, and then we'll try and keep them onto safe tiles, I'm gonna call it. Okay, so... That's gonna be fire. I know it. Okay. I love this music, though. I, okay, so... Let's, uh... Oh, we need to block him. I didn't even think of that guy. Okay, um... Okay, let's try and condense him in. That's all I guess, hey. <laughs> um... Alright, let's hold. Alright, so I was gonna zap us because he's starting there. Okay. So I think I figured this out. This is just really unorthodox, that's for sure. Yeah, I think I need to get them all in the yin yang. I don't know if there's a specific formation I need to have him on the yin yang. Probably have them all adjacent to him. If I had any guess. But this is interesting. This is fun. I love Sakuraba's dungeon music though. Like, or specifically for, you know, his Camelot games. I loved it in Holy Ark, I love it in Golden Sun. Um What can I say? I'm a sucker for it. Okay. Um, let's position you there, and then if we can, we should do this, and then he'll turn towards the right, um, we'll have you there preemptively, uh, honesty, okay, and, alright, that should turn him towards it, which, Maybe I should actually... Okay. Well, we can worry about that in a turn or two. So, let's 
keep you positioned where you are. Okay, so the statues... Um, okay, yeah, so he's gonna do that, and then he'll turn around when he runs into me. Um, and then after that, we'll turn around again in like a turn or two. Alright. We're at level three. It is cool though. I don't know if this is gonna get like any more intense though, because it's not really intense yet. Uh, maybe there'll be a third trial, but I like this. I like the positioning of, of Gracia right there. Just okay. Anyway, let's go. So it really is capturing the feel of like a, a weird ritual thing. I love it. Um. Okay, thousand, move there. Okay, so now, um, just need to hope things go well. All right, so at this point, we just need to try and continue guiding these guys on the correct path. Um, so I'll probably just position Kate here now to block that off, and alright, this seems pretty straightforward. I'm amazed they got a puzzle like this to work as well as it does with a turn, with like a tactical RPG setup like this. It's actually kind of fun. Just like figuring out where to position everyone to make this happen. It's not an amazing puzzle, but it's cool using like a bunch of your party members to do this. Okay, so once they get into position, they don't do anything. So Primula, you need to heal yourself uh, really bad. Okay. Who else is really low? Okay, so... I'm gonna stay there, though. Um, Kate, um, you could probably use with... Yeah, I could just buy those like crazy. It's not a big deal. Okay, potion! Healing drop, I mean to say. Um, hold. And Julian, hold. And. Okay, um. Oh, we're gonna keep getting hit. Because I gotta turn you around. I forgot that you turn right. Dang it. Okay, um. Do you have a... No, you don't. Well, we're up. we'll have to heal you, like, real soon then. Hold. And then... Very similarly. Okay. Hold there. And then, Gracia, when you get the turn, you're gonna need to heal all of us. Okay, there it is. Ow. 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 I forgot you were low. Okay. I didn't even get to use him yet. Okay, so where is he? Where's Jubei? Alright, um, okay, so they're good. 
let's use a uh, heal two on Bridget. Okay, so Bridget, you're gonna need to stay, Kate, um, if you can, Kate, you're gonna have to move over here, um, honesty, stay, <sighs> Julian, you're gonna stand here, so that way he turns around, you're gonna use, uh, heal three, Ooh, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what? Go here. And then Aura... Aura 3. Come on, let's focus on... There we go. Now we Gracia doesn't have to do it. And we can get on with this. This is just... <laughs> this puzzle's gone on a little longer than it would have liked, that's for sure might be screaming down there in the comment section I apologize anyways there we go we get another round of fire Okay, so, you two, on yourself. Okay. So, Kate, you're gonna, I don't know, you're gonna survive this somehow. Um, let's move you here, and right. Julian, you're gonna need to also go in somewhere. Um, okay. Tell you guys what, I don't know if I'm gonna be cutting into even saying this, but guys, I, I know the solution at this point. You guys know the solution at this point. I'm just gonna cut to when he actually moves there. Because I don't want you guys to watch all this. So one second. On Jubei. There we go. Alright. Here we go, guys. Now we just wait it out. See what happens next. It's done! Oh, man. Oh, this is cool. Whoa, man, space. It's the universe. There's so many stars. So, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of freaking... Uh, 
I don't know if you guys watched this show, but um, the Tim and Eric show, it was a skit about space. That's just what I'm thinking of right now as I'm looking at this. What are these stars? Where did they come from? Yes, what are they? They do look like stars. These are the spores of light. This is so cool. Spores of light? Yes, these lights will wake the innovator power inside you and give you the power to confront the Vandal. Please tell me, Great Oracle, why are spirits sent from the heavens to create innovators and Vandals in this world? It is the will of the Creator, Benetran. The will of the Creator? The world in which we live is such a small place. It's nothing compared to the heavens at the other end of the sky. Hmm. What the Creator seeks is order. Order here, like it is in the heavens. To make sure we can adapt to this order, we are being tested, Julian. By what standard is it judged if we are able to adapt or not? And what will happen if we can't adapt to this order? What will the Creator do, Oracle? The standard for judgment is the relationship between the force of light and force of darkness. Should the force of light bow before the dark force, destruction awaits us. Destruction? If I fail, what kind of destruction will come to this world? Complete destruction. All living, living creatures. The creator will destroy them all? Whoa. While it may appear as destruction to us, it's a recreation. The creator created us all and shall continue to seek order through recreation when necessary. It looks like I have spoken too long. Gracia, you have passed the test beautifully. Congratulations. Oh, this is fascinating. And now begins the evolution ceremony. Wait, great oracle. I have one more question. How do we get into Bolzom Temple? I am only an observer, Benetran. The oracle of Enric might be willing to aid you, but not I. I remain neutral. Oh, so there's multiple of you. Are you like angels or something? Okay, then. Whether this world faces recreation or not doesn't matter to me. I am only carrying out the mission given to me by the heavens. Evolution begins. Wait, please wait. Please answer our question. Whoa. The innovator can use the blessing of the Staff of Besson to promote his companions to Apostles of Light. It should be helpful for the battle with the Vandal. Oh, oh yes! Great Oracle, who are you? It is time to say goodbye. We will not meet again. Farewell, Gracia, and the rest of the Julian Force. <laughs> that whole scene just gave me chills. Whoa, look at Gracia! Look at them! Look at that red cloak! Where are we? Where did the monument go? We're back in the desert of Ark Hill. How did we get here? I, I always go back and forth with her. Everyone, look at Gracia! He's changed! Whoa, look at him! Have I changed? Look <laughs> at that face. Yeah! Dude, you look cool. Gracia, look at your eyes! Oh yeah, they were gold, weren't they? My eyes? I don't understand. I feel a bit strange. <laughs> well, look at him. The ancient monument is invisible anymore, as the oracle said. Oh, I can't even wait to promote, though. That's gonna be exciting. The oracle said something before he vanished. Indeed, the innovator can use the, the blessing of the Staff of Besom to promote his companions to Apostles of Light. Right, the Oracle did, did say something like that. 
blessed by the staff of Bess. Excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. Blessed by the staff of Bessem. We should try it. Any volunteers? I'm down for it. Julian, you are most suited to be an apostle of light. Julian, shall I bless you with the staff? Yeah, I, I think I'm high enough level. Why not? Of those in the Julian army, you, the leader, should be the first to receive the blessing of the staff. Oh man, I'm excited! Let's see what we look like next. Guys, I'm like actually really hyped right now. Oh gosh. Gracia blesses Julian with the staff of Bessem! Hey! Okay, I don't look that much different, but awesome! Julian! Indeed, Julian has become an Apostle of Light. An Apostle of Light? What powers does he have? Primula, are there any shortcuts leading to the main road from Ark Hill? Yes, I believe there's a shortcut which follows the northeast side of the mountains towards the main road. Should we head towards the main road before the rest of us become Apostles of Light? Crosshair needs to regain some power before he can bless others. The rest of us will have to be blessed on the journey to Remotest. Hmm. Is there only gonna be like one at a time? Yes, I'm aware there are many on it. Yes, I'm aware there are many unanswered questions, but we must keep moving. The Symbios army is far ahead. We can't just stay here. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. He actually looks a lot like Arthur now, which is actually really fitting. Primula, please lead us to the fastest route to the main road. Yeah, he looks a lot like Arthur. Oh, that cape. Ooh, that looks so cool. I love the music too. I love this song. Okay. Anyways, time to go. Whew. Snowstorm. Guys, this is so cool. Not. I didn't mean that as a pun. I mean, it came out as a pun. Oh, here we are in a log cabin. All right. Nice transition. Do 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 do. Forgive me, Benetran. Snowstorms are unusual during this time of year. I might just start giving Isabella just like a regular girl voice, whatever. I don't have a lot of girl voices. It is not your fault. I was aware the weather changes very quickly in this area, but I decided we should go this way in spite of it. This is my fault. Why can't we proceed through the storm? I was born south of Dystonia. I know nothing of snow. Traveling this snowstorm is out of the question. We will be risking our lives. We really were fortunate to find this cabin in the blizzard. Just think we were still out there. The weather really changed quickly. I was aware it, it could, but I wasn't expecting it to be this drastic. According to some rumors from the rumors from the people in this cabin, there's a snow witch who is causing this storm. Snow witch? Okay. I've never heard of this Snow Witch, but I believe this storm the storm is fading. Right, Honesty. I believe so. There's only one way to find out. Julian, let's go outside. Yes, you two have a look. Go have a look. The rest of us will remain here. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's go. I'm actually not sure, um, I might end up having to, like, take a break from the part, um, at one point, but... Oh! Hello. Okay, this is a new spot. Okay, let me check my, uh, status. That looks... very different. Uh... Was this done by a different artist or something? Like, these look pretty, and, and then, and then there's just Julian. Alright. Man, I look mature now, though. Wow. This was like that, like, upgrade from, like, 
the start of Shining Force 1 to the end of Sh I mean, not start. It's like the upgrade from the start of Shining Force 2 to the end of Shining Force 2. Like, you go from small boy to, like, chiseled jaw. Like, <laughs> oh, you have Blessing now. Oh, is it like, uh... What? Does it use, like, all your MP? Okay. That's fascinating. Alright, uh, let's go back into the base, though. Alright, I wanna just talk to everyone now that we are all, you know, here. Um, hello, Gracia. Is it possible I can now bless our force? It's also possible for me to turn Symbios and Medion and their armies into apostles. But we have to meet up with them first. Okay. Uh, how can we do? How do you do? Do I have to go to, like, a church kind of thing for that? Since Primula is guiding us on this shortcut, we have encountered a lot of snow. Would it be better if we headed back to the ancient road? Would that be faster? Hello. If there is to be a battle in the mountains, we will need a lot of strength. Unfortunately, we are not experienced in the snow. Oh, uh, yeah. My fur will shield me against the snow, but I wouldn't like my fur to get all snowy. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine, my guy. Alright, uh, hello. You're all tired from the evolution, and you know? you're not accustomed to these conditions. It's almost as if we will need to use a potion to muster enough strength to carry on. Mm. My vehicle will work fine in the snow, so don't worry about me. Gotcha. I have wings, so it wouldn't be a problem for me to travel across the snow. But I understand it will be exhausting to walk through the snow. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would be good to be able to fly over that. We haven't experienced this cold weather before, and everyone is becoming annoyed with it. Even so, it will serve as training for a possible snow battle, so I'm not worried. Which we probably will have. When I was young, I trained at a waterfall during the winter, so this weather's no problem for me. Yeah. Walking in the snow is tough even for soldiers. King Benetram, however, remains steady. Benetram is an amazing man, and his physical strength makes him even more amazing. Amazing, man. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> When I regained my senses in the underground ruins of Aspia Castle, I learned I lost all of my soldiers. They were being magically controlled. Enduring a blizzard is comparatively minor. Hmm. I'm sorry. Anyways. What do you desire? Advice? Gracia is now an innovator. We should go to the temple at the cliff if we get in trouble. Alright. Um, let's go over here. And I'm gonna talk to our dragon friend. At present, one dragons are able to take part in battle. Do you know how to recruit dragons for battle? Yes. For, the, for us who were born in the Southern Empire, this cold is pretty unbearable. We would have been in trouble if the cabin wasn't here. Yeah. I can easily stay outside the cavern, but then I would be spotted. Uh, okay. Whatever you say, Thousand. Definitely not trying to stay in from the cold, you cold-blooded creature. You, or you, I don't know. Let's move on. Oh, this is a lot that's happened this part. I am excited. Oh, hello. The Lost Lamb, I'm glad you have come. Okay, can I promote? Okay. Okay, there we go. So, let's go here. I can't promote you. I can promote you. Do they have to be over level 20? Okay. That's, that's gonna be a stressful requirement then. Um, Alright, so Kate, you definitely can, so I'm gonna promote you. Yes. Let's do it. Yelpison, grant your blessing. Please elevate Sniper Kate to Bowmaster. Yeah! Alright. Kate has been promoted to Bowmaster. Who seeks a promotion? Oh, look at her! She looks so cool. Alright. Um, let's. Yeah, let's promote Bridget. Yep. Elbison, grant your blessing. Please elevate Wizard Bridget to High Wizard. Yes. All right. So there we go. Um, oh gosh, she looks cool. We're back to the unique portraits, it looks like. Frick yeah. All right. So, um, hmm. White Dragon to Holy Dragon. Here we go. Elbison, grant your blessing. Please elevate White Dragon Thousand to Holy Dragon. It sounds like you're dropping a Yu-Gi-Oh card again. <laughs> all right, look at that—he's all gold. Um, 
Yeah, honesty! Pegasus Lord. Oh, I'm excited for that. Alright. Elbison, grant your blessing! Please elevate Pegasus Knight Honesty to Pegasus Lord! I'm just mad. <laughs> he's, he's just whipping out them Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, I've been watching uh, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds with my friend. Oh, she looks so cool. Alright, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Honesty, best girl in this. Fight me. Alright. <laughs> Harold can be promoted to Buster? Yeah. This request, Gracia's blessing. Elvisum, grant your blessing. Please elevate Gunner Harold to Buster. <laughs> He's just progressively getting more extra as he goes about it. All right. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I need to get everyone up there. Oh, she can become a light fairy. Let's do it. Elvisum, grant your blessing. Please elevate Fairy Primula to light fairy. Yeah, there we go. Now, uh, okay, what does she look like now? Uh, status, and... That looks so weird. She looked better before, but, I mean, hey, there we go. Why does she have that cowbell? I don't understand. Alright, so, let's see. Leon, you are, you need to get revived, dude. Alright, so I think after this, like, next map... We should be able to promote some guys. That is unfortunate that I cannot promote Don Hort though. He might have to stay benched. At least until we can go to a grinding area again. Oh, okay. Hello. It's turned into a real blizzard out there. But thanks to this cabin, we were able to take shelter. The blizzard sounds like it's weakening compared to a while ago. Hmm. Don't worry about snow fairies. If they appear... Fair... Oh, sorry, that's it. Alright, I'm gonna take my weeb stuff and, and go somewhere else, guys. I'm sorry. Anyways, don't worry about snow fairies. If they appear, your big bro will protect you. Just try showing your face, snow fairies. They'll take you down. Punch! <laughs> I've got a strong big brother, so I'm not scared of snow fairies. If they appear, my bro's gonna knock them out. Huh. Alright. I don't know what's with my jokes right now. Hello. Uh, ma'am, how are you? If you need supplies, yep, yeah, uh, let me see what you got. Hmm. That's okay. You got any deals? Hey, what is that? Oh, you got large mithril and... Yes. Yes. Um... Yes. Yes. I can't believe they're just handing that out. Unless, like... Is Orichalcum like the late game equivalent of, of Mithril in this game or something? Uh, okay. Play the way. Man, it's crazy that he's just handing it out though, I'll be honest. Alright, so let's uh, check out over here. What's in here? Oh, that's the weapon shop. Our selection is unique and crafted by first class artisans. Take your time! Alright, so you got anything better now? Um, I should probably. You got any deals? Wait, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, well, you're just selling like this kind of stuff now? I don't even need to go to deals for that? What? Alright, let's go to Cyclops. <sighs> Sell some stuff, I guess. Okay. Um, hmm. How about... Oh yeah, Cyclops is the one carrying all that stuff. Oh, I should totally use the the movement thing. But who should I use it on? I'm trying to think. Who would be the most useful person to give that? Probably not Kate, because Kate already has an insane amount of movement. You know what? I feel we need to upgrade our boy, Arthur. I, I've already made him stupidly OP. I might as well go to the next level with it, you know? Um... Yeah. By two? Okay, that might have been a little bit much. Okay, well, either way, what's done is done. <laughs> um, I wonder what everyone's animations are like. What if? What if everyone's attack animations are as extra as Gracia now? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, man, I'm excited. I hope. If not, I mean, it's okay. Oh, we got a forge. Are you able to? Okay, I'm gonna save before I before I do any of this crud. Um, 
I don't want to buy any weapons. So let's let's go here. Um, let's save. And right, guys, I'm just gonna do this stuff. I'm not even gonna like initiate another fight. Oh gosh. Um, guys, I'll be back. So give me a bit. Okay, actually, on second thought, guys, I'm gonna end off the part early. So I'm gonna be doing that forging stuff next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next part of Shining Force 3, Scenario 3 Blind. This was a good part. We got to promote. I got to see what everyone looks like. Freaking Julian looks great, and I I'm loving it. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. Mm, bye!